The National Union of Mine Workers is devastated by the loss of more than 20 Venetia mine workers. They died yesterday when their bus collided with a truck on the R572 in Musina in Limpopo. A chopper had to be used to airlift one critically injured employee to hospital, while other injured workers have transferred to a local hospital. Uh, today, some families are identifying their family members, even though some have been burned beyond recognition. For an update, on the story, Num Northeast Regional Chairperson Rangers Malapo joins us now uh, via Zoom. Uh, Mr. Malapo, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. How um, is the, the process of identifying uh, loved ones going today? I thank you, Masiro. Uh, unfortunately, yes, NUM today, we are not really part of the process of identifying the bodies, but we know there are uh, eight identified bodies which others as you correctly said they are beyond recognition which there will be other process that will follow to make sure that they are identified but yeah we're not part but we know today there's a process of identifying the the bodies that are really identifiable Mm. And at the moment, of course, it's a matter of an investigation, especially because more than 20 people passed away. So obviously there'll be an investigation as to who caused or who might have caused uh, the accident between the two huge vehicles. Uh, but for now, have you heard any, anything rather uh, about preliminary results of an investigation? Well, up to this far, to be quite honest, we want to allow the process to flow because always we get these rumors that we don't know what is the real fact. What we know now is that you know, we don't really know what might have caused the accident, Masipo. Uh, mm. All right. And the support that you'll be offering to your members, are any of your members a part of the 22? Yes. The, actually, the whole, uh, to, to put it correct, we have lost uh, 20 people in number which 18 are the workers of uh, Maria and Roberts, who are all our members, and the two is the drivers, the bus driver and the truck driver. So the whole 18 are our members. But what we did yesterday as the union, we met the employer, because you must know myself what is happening there. You have Maria and Roberts employees who are rendering service to Venetia DPS mine. So those are the ones that lost their life while they were on their way to work. So they are all our members, but yesterday we've managed to meet uh, the peers, okay. being Venetia mine as the host. And there were a lot of processes that we agreed upon that needs to follow. You are mass cancellings and, and individual cancellings to try and make sure that we can afford workers. And as well as the union, you know, indeed, these are devastating because we have managed to meet our members yesterday when we were there. You could see that uh, this has affected them very negatively which we know it will take for some time because we are talking about human beings here. Uh, mm, absolutely. And uh, the, the, the mine itself, you're saying that uh, you've agreed to uh, certain ways of supporting family members. Are they going to, for instance, support family members in terms of uh, monetary issues? Probably some of them were breadwinners. Yeah, actually, we believe it's still early because a lot of things are, are going to be following uh, uh, Masiro. Yesterday, we were dealing with okay. issues that we can do for now. Things like your memorial services, burials, mm -hmm. and everything that could be of support. They are not yet discussed because we are going to discuss. So we wanted to deal with issues that are just happening now, preliminary, as you correctly said, and close that. So those issues are on the uh, 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 list. We are going to deal with that because surely... Uh, these people lost breadwinners. You can imagine if 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 you lost uh, 20 people in that scenario with the ratio of unemployment in the country. You can imagine how many people are going to suffer with the loss of life of such a magnitude number. Mm. And just lastly, uh, Mr. Malapo, do you have any concern with regards to South African roads? Um, you know, for instance, yesterday uh, it was one bus driver transporting all those miners to different areas uh, in Musina. And I wonder if you're concerned about the state of South African roads with the kind of carnage that we find. Yes, I think as we have mentioned in our statement, um, we are very worried about the state of roads in the country in general. And I think we need to find ways of how to resolve this. And we also raised the concern in terms of the usage of roads. I mean, we should be sharing these roads with trucks. We think there should be some regulations in terms of how do we manage 
who used to the roads at what time because you know you'll have tracks that are sharing roads with civilians at the same time which sometimes creates a problem because you know our track operators you know they i mean in musina for example they travel towards the whole africa they get tired sometimes sometimes they get rest in your uh, track depots they join the road 10 or 11 as they are so imagine what will happen we become impatient as other road users at the same time so we think there should be some form of discussion so that we formulate the way of regulating the the way we are using trucks i mean roads to share with the trucks operators Mm, and I'm just wondering, uh, Mr. Malapo, uh, because Messina is so close to our neighbors in Zimbabwe, uh, any of the members that you are talking about who, have, who passed away yesterday in this accident, are any of them from Zimbabwe, meaning there'd be repatriation plans over and above all this? Up to this far, we have not yet really identified. It is possible, as you are correctly saying, that we might have... Uh, our colleagues who are coming from the neighboring country. Mm. Obvious neighboring countries, not meaning uh, Zimbabwe only, because Mozambique is yes. also closer. But for now, we have not yet having any information about them. And obviously, if that is happened, so we'll, we'll, we'll kickstart that process of repatriating the, the, the bodies. Mm, all right, Mr. Malapo, thank you very much for your time. Rangers Malapo is uh, from the National Union of Mine Workers.